Welcome to the Game Changer Podcast. Today's topic, you are worthy, you just don't know it. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Top of the morning, welcome back. This is the Game Changer Podcast with Seth Mangali. You guys better get your minds right and get up and let's go. Go, 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 uh-huh. go. See, it's more than the game that we change. We don't do it What's up, my friends? Good to have you guys with me today. Thank you for being here. Man, if you're watching this on YouTube, you know what to do. Hit the uh, subscribe button, smash the like, share this with somebody, and uh, let's dive into this. So you know, I coach people for a living. It's what I do. Right, I'm on social media, and I'm a dad, and I'm a husband, and I'm a friend, and what I do for work is I coach, and I help people. I help people to see things they can't see, and it takes real courage. And it takes guts to coach people powerfully. One of my clients, she's amazing. She's incredible. I grew up in a Christian home and you read scriptures as a family. And inside a Christian scripture, there's always a story about people traveling through a wilderness, right? There's a wilderness. You got to pack up your family. You got to leave into the wilderness. Wilderness means there's, you don't have your home. You don't have your conveniences. Now I'm sure back then they did not have Twitter and email and the, the DoorDash, right? <laughs> But they did have home and they did have beds and when you go into a wilderness, it means you're gonna go through a test. It's gonna be difficult and challenging. This client of mine is trying to rise. She's trying to rise above where she's been for most of her life, in fact, all of her life. You see, if, not my client, but all of us as human beings, we have this baseline. A baseline is like where we live, meaning like this is the baseline. When At the end of the day, these are my habits. This is how I think. This is how I see the world. This is how I see myself and how I see the world and how I see myself and my beliefs and my values determine how I behave and how I show up and how I speak and what I do or what I don't do and what do I avoid. She's trying to rise because we have this term called old self-gravity. It's who you've been. And she's struggling to just get to the next level financially. But see, the financial struggle is this has nothing to do with money. It has everything to do with how she perceives money and how she perceives herself with money and how she perceives her worth in the marketplace. Now, I won't talk too much about this client. I'm gonna talk to you. See, some of you, like my client, like myself, go through a period of time where you, you're you used to making a certain amount of money, you're used to looking and feeling a certain way, you're used to just a level of happiness and fulfillment. All the while, there's this calling, there's this dream, there's this voice, there's this like prompting that nudges you over and over again, and you can't shake it. And one piece of you wants to rise and become and achieve and find and create success and significance and fulfillment, while the other side of you wants to stay the same. You want to stay put. So through the coaching sessions, it's like I'm going through this conversation. And she's like, I just, I don't see myself as worthy. I'm like, well, why not? And she tells me. And I say, well, what do you believe about money? And she's like, I just don't believe that I could have it. And I love it, right? There's real honesty when we have these conversations. And I keep digging and digging. And at the core, right, the root of the real problem was how she saw herself or how she sees herself. She can only see what she's been trained, taught, and educated to see. She can only see what she has experienced. Now, if you grow up in a home where you were trained, taught, and educated to believe that you are average or you are not that great and you should not strive for greatness, why are you trying to go make more, more money? Why are you putting yourself out there on social media? Why are you doing these things? And that becomes your baseline of beliefs and values. The moment you try to rise, climb, reach, stretch, like go for it, you're gonna face massive opposition. You're gonna face challenges like you've never faced before. And so here's my my coaching to all of you, because I told this to my client, but I'm gonna tell all of you, for those of you who struggle, who want more money or who want greater wealth, who want to be fit, who want to have fulfillment, who want freedom, who want a greater lifestyle, greater connection with your children. You just know there's a piece of you that's like, I want more more than what I currently have. And you might be at a place where you're like, I am so tired and I'm so done with how I'm living. I'm gonna tell you right now, you get to decide. No one else is gonna decide for you. I want you to hear me, especially if you're a grown adult. Sure, mom and dad, aunties and uncles, grandparents, whether it's community, church, news, media outlets, sports teams, teachers, like all these people from the past, listen, there's gotta come a point in time where you get to decide and you get to choose. Do I stay where I'm at or do I rise? 
And it's as simple as just making a decision. Look, you got to choose. To decide means to cut off all these other things and like, okay, this is what I want. And then to choose means I'm going to choose this, not what I've currently had. At what point will you just give yourself permission? Like there's got to come a point in time where you say, I, I'm going to go do this. See, if, if they can do it, I can do it. If he or she can do it, I can do it. But then you have all these stories in your mind as you go to mar create marketing videos and you go to hire people. Oh my gosh, what will they think? That's one of the biggest problems that people have is you care too much about what people think. Like consider this, one of my mentors is like, you're gonna die and people are gonna cry for a moment and then they're gonna go eat and then they're going to move on with their life. Betty White, 99 years old, she did not even make 100. Betty White, right, well-loved actress, just sweet lady. I've never met her, but her persona and character that we see was sweet. She did not even make 100. She was 99. All this fame and accolades, she's dead. Ain't nobody talking about her. See, we used to talk about legacy, and I, look, I still believe in legacy, and I still believe there's things that will drive you to perform and behave differently on this planet right here, right now. But you got to know this to my client and to each one of you listening to this. At one point, you're going to have to wake up. You're going to wake up, and you're going to look at your life, and you're going to say, this is it. This is what I've built for my life. This is what I was, I listened to all the opinions and the hate and the trash talk of other people and it's brought me here. Like you're gonna wake up one day and you're just gonna say like, I'm, I'm done. What the heck is going on? So give yourself permission. Drop and get rid of as much of the, I care about what they think. Like the truth is, I, of course we care about what people think. I do. And there's a limit on there. If I listened to what people thought about me, I would not be doing what I'm doing today. Because people in Utah, not everyone, some people, they thought I was crazy. I kept posting on social media back in the day, the early days of social media, you could just dominate the channel. I could put up a post, I could make money, I, people would come to my events. And I had people like trying to tell my wife, what is your husband doing? Who does he think he is? Why is he posting all this stuff? Why is he putting quotes of his with his name in his face? Like, now it's the standard, that's what you do, if you are that person. So. My invitation to those of you listening to this, choose. If you're done letting the opinions of other people that you do not care about, if you're done listening to those voices, those fears, what will I look like, what will they think, they think that I'm being selfish, then good. Cut them off, change your environment, change your surroundings, change your huddle, and get inside of rooms where the normal behavior is your desired behavior. That's a James Clear quote, right? Another one, get inside of rooms where people's bank accounts are your desired bank accounts. Like that's how you do it. Why am I talking about this? Because like I have a mastermind called Circle of Champions, right? I'm, I go speak at masterminds and I'm part of masterminds. One of the greatest things you can do to accelerate that is to be around people who are living the life you want to live. So to my client, you're worthy, you're worth it, you are enough, knock it off, cut the people off, and go do what's required. And if you're like, I want to feel more confidence, go stack evidence to build confidence. Go get a lot of wins and victory. Go do what's required. Go do what's required. And I promise you, soon enough, you will have what's desired. Thanks for listening, my friends. Share this with someone who needs to hear it. And go do something with it in your life. Until next time, I'm out. Let's go. go, 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 uh -huh. go, go. See, it's more than the game that we changing. We don't do it for the block, do it for the name. Yeah. No, there ain't no stopping it. If you really want it, better rock with it. This is how to be a game changer. Better